Hello and welcome back. This is Double O Debbie, and this is episode 102 of my Dire Wolf 21.18 Let's Play. And today, <laughs> I am going to ask everyone a question. It's very important. Listen. Have you hugged an elevator today? <laughs> Have you? <laughs> you should. Look at this. <laughs> this is an elevator hug. <laughs> oh, elevator, you're so good. Um, I the air in this device is stabilized. <laughs> it shut off all by itself. Uh, and I filled this up with some charcoal. Uh, and and I just want to see like how much charcoal will that burn. I go all the way to the top and all the way back down. <laughs> I'm just curious. See, because I know it does use up the pressure when you use it, but this is so cool. <laughs> and you can make this go really, really fast. I only have um, two speed upgrades in each one of these. So it could go faster. Because you can put 10, I think, in everything. What? And I want to install some of the pneumatic doors, the automatic ones. Uh, that would be cool. So let's see, see how much it uses up. I think it uses less when it's going down. Or it doesn't even use any at all. Oh no! <laughs> Why? If the going up is fine, it's going down. Going down is not so so good. Uh, this is bad because <laughs> that's the part I want to be enjoying. <laughs> it's the view. Here we go. <laughs> Okay, how much did it use? Nothing. Uh, but it did drop uh, from 4, what was it, 4.68, and now it's to 4.49. Uh, so technically it didn't even use a charcoal to, uh, <laughs> to go up and down. So that's pretty cool. Um, so I did install this little pressure gauge. It shuts off when it gets over four just boom shuts this little guy off i didn't know what else to hook up to the elevator because it it only does uh five bars of pressure I'm not i'm not sure that that can be changed is there an add an upgrade that will increase the amount of air pressure that it can handle I know one increases volume, but does that affect uh, the pressure? Because those are different. Yeah, I don't know. I just don't know. So, I mean, unless there's uh, A, a different machine that produces five. I know there's one for liquid fuel, but it's easier to bring a stack of charcoal over here than it is to bring like a jar of gas. <laughs> so I also um, tinkered a little bit with the system down here. I moved uh, the advanced liquid compressors from right next to the vortex tubes to uh, right on the other side so that I could run the pipe right here. Oh, it's so cold. Oh, it's so hot. Get me out. Ah, help, help. Stop. Okay. Let me go. I'm I'm a run away. I'm a run away. See, um, 
this uh, temperature difference uh, was affecting this vortex tube. I don't know if it's supposed to, but it was. Oh, I'm missing a, a couple of the, the laggings here since I rearranged everything. But it's, it is really cold right there. So, that's okay. I can do it. I can do it. There. And this chest uh, does that sometimes. Uh, well, really not sometimes. More like all the time. <laughs> if I just spin it around with the... Uh, the wrench, it, it updates it. It's just a block update thing. So updating the block makes it, makes it work again. But when I moved these away, everything started uh, behaving a lot better. <laughs> this was at like 50 or 60 degrees Celsius, uh, which was not efficient for it. I think it, it needs to be uh, a certain temperature and anything that's above that certain temperature is just very efficient for it so it doesn't work as well. So now, now that they're the proper temperature, uh, they're using their gas even more efficiently. So that's super duper cool. Um, and I have the export buses, uh, since I set up all the fluids in the black hole controller, um, I can pull the, the gasoline out and pump it into here, into these little machines. Uh, and I kind of separated them to get these uh, guys as different lines uh, because there's four there and two here so i wasn't sure if it would add these two to this one or to that. I, I don't know channels it's stuff but i did i did add the pressure gauge to module to this uh pressure gauge as well well actually i added the pressure gauge there so that this will automatically uh, disable it if it gets over 18 bars but <laughs> That it really isn't necessary because this has stabilized at 17. Uh, so it's it's doing okay. It's doing okay. I don't even think I would need that. But just in case, you know. <laughs> um, I think, yeah, I have a security upgrade in all of these. So, and three speed upgrades. So I could put more speed upgrades in there if I wanted. Two, uh, but that would actually make the pressure go up and if I put like too many in there then it'll be too high so <laughs> I could probably add maybe one to each engine or add one to each engine and then see how it how far it moves it closer to 20 and uh, over or under 18 I mean I could really put this at 19 and and try to push it up over 18 if I wanted to. Um, I just don't, I don't know. <laughs> um, I got this thing automated and it's working great except for it keeps turning this into a glowstone. Like I, I thought, um, I just replaced that glowstone <laughs> with a blaze mesh and uh, I came, I logged in today and it was glowstone again. I'm like, what? So this thing must be turning it into, into glowstone. Uh, but, but that's okay because I can get, you know, as much blaze powder as I want. Uh, I, <laughs> I've been trying to think of something to do and it would be really cool to like set up three different 
little mob systems. Um, one for like glaze powder specifically, one for like gas tears specifically, and then one for like um, wither skeleton skulls specifically. And I have all three of them set up to uh, a level emitter <laughs> so that it can measure like, hey, if the blaze powder gets low, just turn this system on and ping, ping, <laughs> you got blaze powder. So I just think that would be really super cool. Uh, so once I get some of this stuff cleared out up here, I'll probably be trying to set that up somewhere because uh, I, I, I would, yes, I want, <laughs> but <laughs> I, unfortunately, I didn't have any time to work on this at all today. I've been really super busy. Um, so I just got in and hopefully I can get this out before I go to work tonight. Otherwise, uh, there won't be a video. But yeah, um, what else did I do? I wanted to start um pulling some of this dense cable over to to here and also set this up off of it instead of just the one channel that i'm pulling off of here i could just add it to so i would like to set this up to where i could just say hey i want a pcb <laughs> And then it just goes, it does it itself, and then gives me the result, because that's living the dream. <laughs> so, but I need more channels, and I might need, I might need to add something to this. I'm not 100% certain. I haven't really looked into all the different recipes of what I need to exactly do for, for this project. Uh, so, yeah, but I would definitely like some more of the dense cable to get over here. But I'm also going to need like a little uh, anchor over here to uh, make sure it doesn't connect. I really wish I could use my scroll wheel to, <laughs> to get one. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh, I knew there was something wrong in the world. And now this, this is exactly what needed to, to be done to fix the whole world. I can scroll wheel to get stuff out of the AE network. <laughs> oh my God. I, that so annoyed me using uh, refined storage and not being able to do this because uh, that's what I do in the chests. Uh, so whenever I went into refined storage, yeah, you can't you can't use your scroll wheel because it operates uh, this, not the uh, not. Oh, life is good. Life is good. Okay, um, I think, let's look at how much dense cable I have. I only have eight, but I should be able to request it. Um, I may need more wool. I have got to really get to digging that area out, uh, because I think, um, I want to leave the farms up top. Right now, they're not functional because I disconnected my mob system so that I can clear everything out and so it's just um, it's not there producing source so I have no source to keep them running oh hey look I'm just missing some glowstone I have plenty of wool um, cool I <laughs> I think I grabbed some from the other system so that's pretty cool so I just need to grab some glowstone I mean, I could have just, you know, could teach the system how to make glowstone, but 
once I get everything hooked up, I'm going to have glowstone coming in. So it, it would, if, I guess I could. Let's just do it. Uh, it's not going to be that bad. That way, if it runs out and I don't have any and I still have plenty of glowstone, uh, it will be able to do the thing. Just, just in case, just in case we run out ever again. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right, now let's try it. There we go. Yeah, I need to get all of that infrastructure redone now. I've got to get the mop system up to get the source going or I can uh, make new farms using different mechanics that might be more efficient <laughs> and get me, you know, more stuff. So I don't know. I know the industrial foregoing farms are just, they're really cool, but there are some some things that might be better like there are uh thermal series farms that you can make uh they have a machine that will act sort of like a garden cloche so <laughs> that's kind of cool and you can make uh, like uh use special dirt and stuff and get better yields i guess um all kinds of stuff uh, 64 should be plenty. We'll just let that. Do its thing. And just kind of run this over here. Um, uh, probably won't need all of these channels for this or anything else. But I'll also be able to update this system. Uh, but I don't I, like I don't. There's no upgrade to the pressure chamber, so how can I upgrade uh, these to using something that is going to produce 20 bars when this is only going to accept 5? <coughs> so, I mean, unless the volume upgrade in increases that, is that what it does? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just assumed it would be able to hold more air. Does it mean it? Does that mean it can withstand more pressure as well? I don't know. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty good. I uh, guess. See where are you? I can just cut it off right here. Ooh. Ah! I I <laughs> I have to hold shift in order to break some things with uh with the book. So if I look like I'm bouncing up and down, it's because I'm trying to hold shift uh, and jump <laughs> to uh, make things happen. Hmm, now, how can I do this? Just Oh, that's because that, uh, that light is there. That's right. Then. That will work. So we're getting one here. He's showing. Right. Now I'll probably try to just, um, I guess, tear this thing down and push it back. And that's another thing, too, is that this machine also only holds one. You know what? I, I'm asking myself uh, the question, does it increase that? 
So let's just make one. Let's go make one um, to see if it if increasing the volume also increases the pressure. Uh, so what are those things called? The volume volume upgrade. There we go. And I don't think we have no, I think we do have a recipe for an air canister. Air. Maybe not. How about canister? No. Okay, let's do the air canister then. I could have swore I did air canister sometime. I guess not. Okay. Oh, maybe I could have made an air canister over at the refined storage system. So that could be it. Uh, so let's go back to volume. I don't know how many uh, these it can hold. So let's see, um, if I put you in there, what happens? It didn't, uh, let me go out. It didn't appear to change this. Uh, but it did drop the pressure, uh, so it added volume, which would drop the pressure. But it did not increase <laughs> the amount that of pressure that it can hold. So I don't know what to do about that. Uh, the good thing is that I should be able to easily uh, get this to automatically shut it off. And I can get this to pull in charcoal and craft it up whenever it needs it. Um, but what I need to do is I need to go uh, switch out the, uh, the ender chest on my tree farm and start diverting all that wood to this system so that I have access to it and, and set up ways for because that right now i don't have a way for it to cook charcoal it doesn't know how to make charcoal on its own so i would have to do all of that stuff all over again but it would be easy peasy easy peasy um no Yeah, I might lower this to kind of set right on top of the pressure chamber as well. We can do this. We can do this. This is easy peasy. Um, so uh, let's go do that. Let's go get, um, I think the ender chest it's going to is green. But this one is, it looks gray, <laughs> but it's not. It's light blue. I forgot what I used to color it, so it took me a while to figure it out because it, it really looks gray. <laughs> but it's light blue. Uh, so if I just take some uh, light blue dye. So is there blue? Oh, that is, yes. What, oh, I don't know that I have any bone meal here. I don't, so uh, I'm gonna have to go into the other, the other other place, just to do this real quick. See now, watch. Uh, that was RS, RF, uh, RS. 
do no <laughs> it goes into the crafting thing uh but shift f oh no i'm pushing f and i mean to push g so will it work oh it went right in no it didn't it went into the crafting grid as well oh well i mean at least i can use my scroll wheel here so that is um pretty okay <laughs> I kind of like it. Uh, so I'm going to need to get all the different kinds of wood, though, and get that set up so it goes immediately into storage containers. So I think, um, let's see, I know I have oak. Oak is like the main oak. Oh, I have oak, so I would need to handle that and oak saplings. See, I can't. Oh, this is so annoying. <laughs> oak, oak saplings, and I probably need something for apples, too. Look, I have 6,000 apples, so, yeah. And then there's, like, dark oak. Uh, saplings. Uh, you know, um, let's go look. Oh man, <laughs> that's one thing that I like about being underground is I can forget about sleeping the night away. Uh, sometimes it gets a little bit tedious to have to go in and sleep all the time. So what do we got? Um, yeah, we got lots of oak, some dark oak, spruce, acacia, and jungle. And no birch? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Uh, oh no, wait. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be over here. Oh wait. Yeah, I need to be in, the, I can, I can get to my AE network from here or from anywhere, but not the refined storage. I have to be close to something. So, let's see, acacia, and acacia saplings, and then there was spruce. Oh, look, dude, I don't have hardly any spruce. Oh, you know why? Because I think it's, no, I have dark oak for all my recipes. Wow, that's really not that much at all. Spruce and then jungle, jungle wood. Oh, and there's not that much jungle either. Okay. Um, and that should be it. I guess the spruce and the jungle really need a lot more room to grow than like the oak and the dark oak can can grow really well when they're packed together uh, but the spruce and the jungle uh, you know usually when you pack jungle together you just get a really big tree <laughs> oh but uh this well the spruce too uh, you can get a really big tree, so I don't know. No. Oh, yeah, so let's go find our little chest over here. Oh, it's white. This is something that is new to me right here. <laughs> um, I can stand here and not be affected by the uh, sludge refiner.
because you used to have to take the sludge refiner and store it away somewhere, especially if you were doing agrarian skies, because this guy gave you uh, hunger. <laughs> it would make you feel sick and make you hungry, and that's something you did not want if you were playing agrarian skies. So uh, that is a new thing where you don't get sick from being around this. So uh, let's do... Ooh. And now we should start getting stuff in there and I should go and set up some chests for the kings to go to. Like, uh, I don't know, we could put oak here, oak saplings, apples, we can put, uh, dark oak, dark oak saplings, jungle, jungle saplings, acha, and some of use. There we go. Now I could probably add birch to that too uh, or some other things as well so i don't know <laughs> i don't know I, I i gotta have time to do everything so yeah um i am going to now that we have some wood coming in i can set up some of the other basics of like turning wood into logs logs into sticks and you know making redstone uh torches and uh, i mean i think i already have some of these recipes in here but i couldn't like i have to craft the oak planks but i never actually had the oak logs in there for it to just pull indefinitely so it's nice to have that uh, in there <laughs> so yeah um i am going to continue Trying to convert this little guy right here into uh, into a more automated way so that I could just request a PCB up there and everything just happens down here just like it's supposed to and uh, kind of update this with a, a pressure gauge. Uh, with uh, the, the upgraded module, of course, so it can monitor and keep this thing going safely <laughs> without exploding things. Uh, so, yeah, uh, and we'll be able to, you know, take the UV light box off because that shouldn't even be a process anymore that's necessary because I think this handles all the UV stuff now, right? right <laughs> um yeah <laughs> so anyway uh thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye